Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gabriel and today we're doing another Twin Flame energy reading. Um, this reading is meant to be timeless, so whenever you find it, there is a message for you, no matter where you're at on your Twin Flame journey as well. Whether you don't know your Twin Flame yet, or you already know your Twin Flame and you're already in union, there is a message for you if you found this video. So we're just going to dive in. And this, today's reading is going to be From Gods and Titans by Stacey DeMarco. It feels like a very like masculine energy deck for today. But uh, we're going to just dive in. All right. Ooh, some good energy here. The first card is Set Chaos. And what comes through here is you may be going through a lot of upheaval in your reality right now. Um, whether this means things on the outside are changing, maybe you're changing jobs, maybe you're changing locations or you're moving, or maybe a lot of upheaval is coming up emotionally for you to clear out. Um, but it really feels like maybe on the outside things look like chaos. Things maybe don't look like they're coming together the way that you thought that they would. Um, but this isn't a, a sign of things are necessarily going wrong. In fact, a lot of the time when, especially when we're doing our inner work and we're taking this journey, um, there's going to be a lot of things that do come up naturally because they're ready to be healed. And sometimes that manifests as your outer world kind of crumbling. If you think of um, kind of those tower moments where anything that doesn't have a solid foundation built in on God, built on love, has to crumble and fall away. It can't stand if it wasn't built with love in the first place because you built it on, you really built it on the sand versus building it on a solid foundation of love and a solid foundation of God. Um, but that, this isn't coming up for punishment. This is not because you've done anything wrong. This is because you're taking steps forward. So um, continue doing your inner healing continue loving yourself. Be compassionate with yourself through this time. God doesn't ask you to like, rush through difficult times. He just asks that you walk with him through these times. And sometimes you can just take baby steps and that's all you can do. And that's enough as long as you are doing it with God. All right, the next card. Ooh, yeah, travel. This is a big like transition card. Um, maybe you're physically traveling. Maybe there are some Maybe you're in transit in some way or another, but it really feels more like a travel in terms of transition, like a spiritual transition, an emotional transition, um, you know, moving from one vortex to the next. There's something that as you're moving through this chaos, that's where you're going. Like you're going to the next vibration, you're going to the next level or stage of your journey. Um, so just trust that like you are moving forward, even if it doesn't feel like it. Um, remember that as you move through your cycles of healing, they are cycles. And sometimes it feels like you're going backwards, uh, but you're not actually going backwards. You're kind of going deeper into that upset that you are healing. You're going deeper into that lesson, just like when you're in school and, you know, it's like, oh, we've already learned, you know, this level of math. And now we're going to learn this deeper level of math that builds upon this previous. And I think I uh, something about math is in my consciousness recently. Um, but just like one lesson builds on top of the other. That's how you learn spiritual lessons as well. You learn kind of the basics of, oh, I know I need to surrender and trust God here. And then the next level is here's an even bigger situation and I still have to surrender and trust God, even though it's even bigger this time. So um, you're not falling backwards, you're just going deeper and moving forward. All right, yep, here we go. Odin, guidance. Yeah, this is just a reminder that God is guiding your path. God is guiding the curriculum for your life. And um, anything that you're going through, if you're experiencing delays, if you're experiencing upsets, if you're experiencing things that feels really uncomfortable right now, know that God is guiding you through those times. And if you can't hear God and you're not sure what to do, the first step is to heal to a place of peace. And that is 
feeling your feelings, loving yourself, using the mirror exercise to help you if you need that. Um, you know, you want to come to a place of peace so that you can hear the voice of God. If you're struggling with, oh, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what, what to do. I don't know. Like your own voice and your own fear and ego's voice is drowning out the voice of God that just says trust, right? Or here's the next thing you need to do. And you can't hear that if you're stuck in the chaos of your own like upset. So heal, love yourself, come into peace, and God's voice is going to be very clear for you. Ooh, I pulled two, so we're going to take both. Wisdom and altruism. Yeah. So what's coming through here is as you're healing, you also need to share what you're learning. Um, and you don't have to do this like um, unless you're called to, but it's really important to uh, when you receive the lesson right when you understand oh like oh this is what i've been learning here this is the clarity that i've received here after you get to this point where you've reached peace and you understand um the thing to do is to share that wisdom and i think that's why these came together is sharing what you've learned um with those around you because if they're on this journey too they're learning from you and you're giving back to them and through you're teaching them, you're also more deeply ingraining these lessons into your own, um, into your own being, right? You're, um, they say often like the best way to learn something is to teach it. And that's true for your spirit, spiritual growth as well. And it also reaps spiritual rewards because you're helping your fellow, uh, brother or sister who is also probably struggling through the same thing that you are just in their own way. Um, so it's really important that you give back and um, share your healing, share what you've learned. Um, and yeah, that'll kind of come back to you. That's creating good karma for you. All right, the next card, perfection. Yeah, and I feel like this is also a little bit like a, a, a sign that you are already perfect and it's also a caution against perfectionism because being perfect and being perfectionistic or being, you know, putting all your, uh, your energy into trying to be perfect is very different. God created you perfect. So no matter where you are right now, it is perfect for you. You are already perfect just by the nature of you being a child of God. But um, if you're, you know, trying to, trying to be perfect, ego's idea of perfection, you're going to be taking from yourself. You're going to feel frustrated. You're going to feel like you're going to actually be in that energy of control, which is blocking you from receiving all of your good, receiving the insights that you need, uh, blocking you from receiving your good. So when you surrender just to the fact that you are perfect right now and where you're at is perfect for you, then everything will flow naturally because you accept yourself and that is a prerequisite in, you know, you moving forward. If you aren't accepting where you are, you can't be where you'd like to go. Um, so you start accepting I'm here and then you can take the next step. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. If you'd like your own personalized reading or if you'd like support in a one-on-one -on -one capacity for coaching, I do offer those services at sacredwimplingunion.com and I will see you all in the next video.